This is Eugene Pandrutkovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Asus S56C laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Asus S56C laptop's computer. Before we get started on this model computer, we need to disconnect all sources of power, and that means removing the battery. In order to remove the battery, we flip the laptop over and slide the two levers outward, and then, and then slide the battery out. Once the battery's out, we can work on the laptop safely. And while we're on the back of the computer, we can see where we can find the model number. It's in this sticker in the middle. Under the barcode you can see S56CA. That's the model number so it can go either by S56CA or S56C. And there also may be a touch screen version of this laptop available. But this is for the non touch screen version. Okay, once we removed the battery, we need to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame that goes around the screen. In order to remove the screen bezel, we need to remove two screws at the bottom that are hiding behind screw covers. So we'll start with that first, but before we start, I'm going to show you the tools that we're going to use for this procedure. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver, actually a PH0, apologies, electronics screwdriver, and that's to remove the screws. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. We also have a hobby knife or X-Acto knife with a pointed tip, and that's to remove uh, screw covers and adhesive tape. Finally, we have a pair of metal tweezers, and that's to manipulate cables and to remove any screws that may be stuck. So let's get started. The first step is to remove the plastic screw covers to expose the screws. And we use our hobby knife for that and we put it, the screw covers right next to the openings so we don't lose them. And same thing with this screw cover. Once we do that, we use our screwdriver to remove the two screws, like so. There's one, and we use our tweezers to work this screw out if it gets stuck, and do the same thing on the other side, and like so, and again, use the tweezers to work the screw out. For each step, step, for each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile in the order in which I remove them. And that helps me keep track of which screws go where when we put the laptop back together. Once we remove the screws, we want to snap the screen bezel back off. In order to do that, we put our fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently lift the screen bezel up and out and listen for snapping sounds. Once you hear snapping sounds, that means the bezel is coming off. And that's a good thing. And we work our way around the screen bezel. If he gets stuck at a certain point, just go around that place and come back to that place later. It will be easier to remove once the other parts of the bezel are free. So we're stuck a little bit at a corner. We'll come back to that and it comes off. Okay, we do the same thing on the bottom, keep going, like so, and we snap it off, and the bezel comes off when we put the bezel to the side. Okay, for this type of screen, it's mounted to the screen assembly by on metal tabs on top and bottom, so we have to remove actually four screws. Uh, in your model, this particular laptop, there's only two screws at the top. I do not see any screws at the bottom. This was either a manufacturing error or the person removed, or someone removed the screws before. But um, we need to remove these screws on the top, and if there were any, remove them on the bottom. So 
first thing you do is you tilt the laptop screen back a little bit so when you remove all the screws it doesn't fall forward on you. And remove the two screws, the top one, and two. Now if there were screws here, you would remove one right over here, and also one right over here. Once we do that, we grab the screen by the metal mounting tabs and gently fold it forward. Move it forward, make sure it's not getting stuck on any cables, like so. You see that some adhesive tape came off here, that's okay. And then lay it down. Okay, once we do that, there's only one connection we need to disconnect and the screen is removed. So in order to do that, we need to lift up the adhesive tape. We either use our fingernails or the hobby knife to lift up the adhesive tape to expose the connector. So let's do that. Gently lift it up, being careful not to damage the connector when we do that. Take your time on this part. And grab the tape like so and also the other parts like so and gently pull back until you expose the connector. What I did is move the screen forward a little bit to give me some more room to work with and in order to remove the connector, you bend the adhesive tape back and grab the back of the connector with your fingertips and gently pull the connector back like so. And the screen is released from the connector. Okay, before we go further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect it. When you have your new screen, screen you slide the connector in. You'll feel but not hear two clicks. And in order to make sure you have a proper connection, you need to make sure that the two sides of the connection are flush with each other. There's no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connector. Pause the video right here and make sure your connection looks like this when it's properly connected. Okay, so let's disconnect it and let's look at this screen. It's a 15.6 inch LED slim screen. It's fairly commonly available. And let me give you the part number. The part number for this screen is B156XW04. B156XW04. That is all you need to do. When you do get your new screen in, most likely it will not have the same part number, but it will look the same and it will be compatible with this screen. Another couple items to notice, you see that there's pieces of adhesive tape. So you remove the tape and put it down because you'll use it for your new screen. Okay, once you do have your new screen in, you reconnect it as I showed you over here, mount it in the screen assembly, and then put the screws in at the top and at the bottom, put the adhesive tape in at the bottom where it was and route, use the tweezers to route the cable and the cable holdings spots down here. And then put the screen bezel back on, snap it back on, put the two screws back on, and then the screw covers. And that should be it, and it should be finished. Okay, we at Screen Surgeons have this screen available for sale. And what you get with us is a two year warranty on any defects on the screen. The exact same toolkit that you see here comes for free with the screens that we sell. The screens are shipped quickly within two or three days from a warehouse in Louisville and we use shipping is free and we use priority mail. If you're outside of the United States we can ship to most countries around the world. Just go through your checkout procedure and select your country. In order to order the screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com, 
there will be a short form for you to fill out that should give us the laptop information and then that will direct you to buy the right screen online okay so once and also I forgot to mention that if you do encounter any problems during the installation just send us an email we'll guide you through the proper installation procedure okay and that's it once you get this done your laptop should be good as new okay thank you very much once again my name is Eugene Panrutkovic I'm the laptop screen doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com thank you very much and good luck